mule deer is a distinctly North American invention almost. A lot of the species we have here, the big game species, have been here a long time. White-tailed deer have been here, like, like on our continent, have, have been here a couple million years. They've been here a long time. Mule deer, though, are, are distinct North American creation, a hybrid that occurred where the white-tailed deer's range extended west, the black-tailed deer's range extended east, and there was a hybridization event where black-tailed bucks were breeding white-tailed does, and that created the mule deer. Those hybrids became mule deer, and eventually the black tail range retreated, the white tail range retreated for a while, and left this new population of what we have, mule deer, in their range in the Great Plains and Rockies. Mule deer will eventually be a, a thing that had a short life, because what we're finding now is mule deer are very sensitive to habitat loss and habitat fragmentation. They get outcompeted by white tails. Mule deer are just like, they, they have specific criteria they need to stay alive. And they will get outdone by whitetails. As whitetail range expands, we have more and more whitetails in more and more places, you're probably gonna wind up having fewer mule deer. Also, as we continue to develop areas of the West and do energy development, housing development, road construction, you're gonna wind up seeing that mule deer are gonna slowly retract. Hunting doesn't have anything to do with this. It's like habitat destruction is gonna spell the end of the mule deer. And there's a lot of organizations like Mule Deer Foundation that dedicate themselves to preventing that from happening. But should it happen, we'll find the mule deer was a thing that was just here and then gone. And it's gonna be sad if, the, if we allow that to happen, but looking at it from a grand scale, like stepping back from a geological perspective, it only adds to the beauty of the animal. You need to think that it was like this distinct creation that was here and then not, you know? And I, and I, I always feel blessed that I like that my life coincided with, you know, the moment of the mule deer.